is the effect of comparing our government, our political opponents, to authoritarian, even murderous regimes. This kind of vilification and over-the-top rhetoric closes the door to the possibility of compromise. It undermines democratic deliberation. It prevents learning, since after all, why should we listen to a fascist or a socialist or a right-wing nut or a left-wing nut? It makes it nearly impossible for people who have legitimate but bridgeable differences to sit down at the same table and hash things out. Well, that was President Obama a little more than two years ago, criticizing the politics of personal attacks. But just this week, we learned that a key new addition to the president's team has been describing Republicans in a pretty graphic way. Mr. Podesta, a longtime aide to President Bill Clinton and the new special advisor to President Obama, saying that Republicans are comparable to the cult that is responsible for the 1978 Jonestown Massacre. Now, war this, we're going to remind you of what that was, but this is a warning because this is a graphic reminder. Reverend Jim Jones ordered the assassination of a U.S. congressman and led nearly 1,000 men, women, and children to their deaths. It's one of the largest mass murders, suicides in history. Podesta has now apologized on Twitter today. Joining me now, Ben LeVolt, the former National Press Secretary to President Obama's 2012 campaign and 